So first, we're actually gonna be covering the easiest way to set up your ATM business. Then, I'm actually gonna cover how to find the right banks to approve your ATM business. And then, finish it off with picking the best ATMs to sell crypto in 2022. Welcome everybody. Let's give it a few minutes. I want to welcome you to this week's weekly live. My name is Getem. Here with ATM Together. I'm here with Paul. He is wrapping up a meeting. He's going to actually check in at the end to say hi. But this is this week's ATM Business for Beginners weekly live. Today is a special day though. All right. I'm I'm not into you know voodoo or things like that. But at the end of the day, what's the date? It's two. 2222. 22. Once in a lifetime at the end of the day. This is once in a lifetime. So this is going to be extra special training. Okay. Now let's give it a few minutes. I know there's a few people joining. Come to the group. Let's let them come in. Invite your friends. Invite everybody. At the end of the day, this is going to be special training we want to get for everybody. Okay. So if you have any friends out there, whether that work, tell them to take that lunch break. If they're about to get off, tell them to drive a little faster. Well, let's get this going. Help us out with the algorithms. Invite your friends. This is a once in a lifetime training. All right. So let's give it a few minutes. I see you, bro, Mike. I see you. Special shout out to bro, Mike. Just got out of a special situation. And he's working with us now. Thanks for joining us too. Let's give it another minute. I see a lot of people joining. I see a lot of new faces. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I might have to ask Paul to just host this myself from now on. Man, I'm seeing a lot of new faces. Let's do it, okay. Welcome Wallace, welcome. Lisa, I see you in there too, welcome. Bro Mike, again, I see you in there. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. All right, so this is your first live, your absolutely first live. And it might just be your first live in a while or your first one for 2022 because we have a lot of group members. Love it. Love the love we're getting. But if this is your first live, comment live below. All right, live below. Comment, help us with the algorithms. At the end of the day, we need to reach out to more people. Get them this free training at the end of the day, okay? So comment live below if this is your first training. I see it. Tell your people to invite your friends. Let's go. Invite your friends. Help them out. Let them take advantage of the lives. At the end of the day, this is free training. You can't get this anywhere. Live, this is prime time. 8 p.m., we're back to our normal time. We heard you guys. We're ready for you guys. And if you want a replay video of this training, then comment replay below. Again, if you want a replay of this training, comment replay below, right? Now, for this live, I wanna quickly give you a quick overview of what we're actually gonna be covering, right? So first, we're actually gonna be covering the easiest way to set up your ATM business, okay? The absolute basics, because we understand people are brand new. This information isn't out there, it's not fair, but we're gonna give it to you, right? Then, I'm actually going to cover how to find the right banks to approve your ATM business, right? This is probably one of the biggest questions we always get. And the question about the business in general is like, how do I get a bank account? Get them. Help me out, man. Help me. I've been looking. We're going to cover that. Don't worry. And then finish it off with picking the best ATMs to sell crypto in 2022. I know. I know. Crypto is the big thing, but we're going to cover it, all right? Now, if you were excited for this slide, all right, to find out the absolute bare bones, quick, down and dirty way to start your ATM business, comment success below. Again, that's success. Comment below. Help us with the algorithms. Help us reach as many people as possible. We're going to teach you the fastest way, okay? Success. I see those comments. I'm loving it. Now, four pillars of the ATM business, right? 
Veterans, OGs, brand new people, it's always the same. The four pillars. First, LLC. At the end of the day, you need a business, right? Bank, I'll be covering the bank. The processing. Don't worry, if you don't know what processing is, I'm going to cover it, all right? And then, of course, the down and dirty location, all right? The location, hey, that's the reason why you're here. You want to get into the business, we're going to cover it all, all right? So, LLC, in case you didn't know, that stands for Limited Liability Company, all right? When it comes down to it, we actually covered this on other free lives, but it's the fastest way to search your ATM business, right? There's all these different business entities. We've been in the business for a while, have a little bit of experience, just start with the LLC, okay? Now, there's other options. Some people say, well, what's a sole proprietorship, okay? At the end of the day, the biggest difference between the two is going to be protection. Okay. Now with a limited liability company, you're going to have protection, right? At the end of the day, we're in, we're in a society where everyone likes to sue. You look at somebody the wrong way, they want to sue you. I'm telling you, having been in court multiple times from the other side, everyone wants to sue each other for everything. Okay. So have protection. Now, the other reason why you want an LLC is because it provides authority, right? Think about it. When you're a business, if you have a business, but you don't have a business name or an actual entity, what do you think, right? Are you going to purchase from that person? You know how many times I have been asked in thousands of calls, they say, hey, get them. That's all good. Okay. ATM together. Well, what's your business name? What's your LLC? Because at the end of the day, you could be a scammer. You walk into a business and you want to open a bank account or you want to place your ATM there. And they say, well, who are you? And you come in with the ATM shirt. You could be the cartel. They don't know. Now, Always start with the LLC, okay? Second is the bank. The second pillar is the bank, okay? I'm actually gonna cover that in a bit, right? But you do need a business checking account for your ATM business, okay? Big thing, be upfront. Be upfront, guys, right? They say all the time, be honest. Hey, at the end of the day, when it comes to banks, same thing, all right? And I'm actually gonna get into this in a bit, okay? The third pillar, all right? The third pillar, which I always get a lot of their questions about, Processing. Processing at the end of the day, to keep it very simple, is the network you need to facilitate your transactions. And this is between your ATM, which you're going to have soon, your bank, and the customer's bank accounts. Okay. So think of it simply. Think of it as, say, your cell service, right? You got Verizon, you got ATT, used to have Singular back in the day. All the OGs, remember the Singular? Yeah. So the two key things you got to remember when choosing your processing is this. You want it to be free, okay? At the end of the day, there's all these different processing companies out there, right? But you have to make sure, number one, it's free. Second, there's no contract, right? I don't know about you, but I hate contracts. I literally just got out of an internet contract. I totally forgot they even exist. Early termination fee. Same thing when it comes to processing, okay? Now, remember, I don't forget the story, but Paul, Founder of ATM Together, seven-figure business member, paid $7,000 to get out of a three-year contract, right? He got, they got him. They got to admit it. He'll, you'd ask him to, sometimes he doesn't want to admit it, but they got him. Fresh to the game, at the end of the day, didn't know any better, they got him on a contract. Three years, right, from multiple ATMs. They were taking $16,000 a year. Think about that. Think about how much money. I mean, that's a few cups of coffee for me. I don't know about you, but I like espresso. 16000 a year, okay? He got a mentor, got that mentor. Mentor told him, get out of that contract. At the end of the day, please get out of the contract. It doesn't matter what it takes, okay? He ended up paying $7,000 out of pocket. Just get out of the contract because at the end of the day, it made it better long-term, okay? Finally, for your ATM business, you need a location, Okay. Location, location, location. I cannot stress how important this is. Think about it. This makes or breaks your business. You can have a $100,000 ATM with iPad, all the bells and whistles. It doesn't matter if no one's going to it. You need a location. I've spoken to thousands of people, old, new, vets in the game, right? It all matters. It's the location. This is the reason why Paul was able to leave his nine to five. Think about that. Don't you want to leave your nine to five? If you're working, watching at your break right now, I mean, you're, you're probably thinking, I need time to start my business. How many dollars per month is it going to take you to leave your nine to five? It's your location. Your location is going to matter. Okay. Also, Mike Sandone, our technician, 
You've seen him comment in there, right? Shout out Mike Sandone, one of the best techs I know. $50,000 a month. Think about that. I'm not good at math, but $50,000 a month, that's a lot of money. He has 103 locations. 103. It's extremely important. Get a good location, okay? When you're finding a location, at the end of the day, you need to fact check these three things, okay? Foot traffic, right? You need to look at the foot traffic. At the end of the day, the area has to have a lot of foot traffic, okay? And it also has to be an area that's cash driven. Think about this, right? And when I say cash driven, what do I mean? Well, think about it, tourist areas. I'm from the Bay, the Bay Area, California, okay? Shout out 49ers fans. I see you out there. Used to be Oakland Raiders, not anymore. It's okay. Well, tourist areas in the Bay Area, Pier 39. If you've been to San Francisco, one of the biggest areas, okay? Jack London, cash driven, cash driven. Also, you want to make sure you don't offer to pay the merchant a fee at first, okay? What do I mean by that? Well, when you're landing locations, at the end of the day, this is a rookie mistake, right? Because sometimes you just don't know what to say. Well, listen up, guys. Listen up. You know what? I'm going to give you a script right now what to say, okay? When you're wheeling and dealing, you're finding that location. I'm going to be ATM 101, okay? I'm going to have my brochure, right? Trying to find a location. This is exactly what I would say, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm saving the merchant some credit credit card processing fees. So what I would say is this, right? Hello? Yeah, let's get them from ATM 101. Hey, just letting you know, had our free promo just for today. Well, they're going to ask, well, what's the promo? Well, it's, it's just for today. Are you going to be able to meet? I'm the only time right now I'm in the city is today. Okay. Tomorrow I'm out of the city. Are you able to meet today? Urgency guys, urgency and knowing what to say, that's going to be landing you the deals for locations. Okay. Now let's cover the banks. Actually, you know what? If you're excited If you're excited to understand the fastest way to find a bank, okay, comment banks below. Banks, B-A-N-K-S, all right, banks. I was in the military. Sometimes we had to spell things out. You know, I wasn't the smartest cookie, all right? They're banks. Help us with the algorithms. Help us out. Help people reach out. Help people come to this live. Comment banks below, okay? Now, background, guys. Banks are one of the most important factors when it comes to the ATM business. At the end of the day, where are you going to have all your profits coming to? Nowadays, this is extremely important because it's becoming harder and harder for new entrepreneurs to establish for their business. Okay, Think about that. Some of these banks are just not allowing new accounts. What do you do? I'll tell you why. All right. So most banks actually deny ATM accounts. Right. I know. I know it's a surprise. I was surprised when I got in the industry. I get hundreds of people that ask me and they say, I'm just going to go to this big name bank. Right. I'm just going to go to Chase, go to Wells Fargo. Well, sorry, they're actually not going to allow you to. Big banks, they, they just don't. Most banks actually don't. 49 out of 50 might deny you. First of all, you're seen as competition. At the end of the day, you're going to a bank and you're opening up a business checking account. OK. And you're telling them, hey, my business is going to take away from your ATMs. Kind of a conflict of interest, right? Secondly, you're considered high risk. Extremely high. Think about it. They don't know who you are. You're cash only. Think about what could happen with a cash only business and what they're thinking of. Also, the volume of transactions may just be too high, right? So they just don't want to deal with you. And of course, unfortunately, ATM accounts have bad reputations. What do you mean by that, Getum? Well, at the end of the day, back in the day, there were some gurus, right? Some quote unquote ATM gurus. And they were saying for people to take their personal accounts and connect them to their ATM account. Well, think about that for a second. You're having hundreds of transactions getting transferred to your account. Well, I don't know about you. If I was working a nine to five and I'm getting two paychecks a month, and then I all of a sudden pop up to a few hundred transactions, probably gonna raise some red flags, right? I'd question myself too, okay? Previously, People also lied about the type of accounts, right? Bad reputation, guys. Think about that. People stay in the banking industry. They, they remember. I'm like, I remember that one person that opened up the ATM account. And also, people sometimes do not maintain their old accounts. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, 
at the end of the day, some people get in the industry and for whatever reason, they just decide they don't want to do it anymore, right? And they just might walk away. You've seen those old ATMs. Think about that for a second. Think about that store you went to that had that ATM that wasn't working, that looked busted at the end of the day, right? I'm from the Bay Area. You go outside, you might find one, right? Even at a, at, on Craigslist or maybe at the flea market, I might find an old one. But some people just abandon their ATMs. They just say, I'm not going to deal with it. I don't want to do this anymore for whatever reason. So what do you think they do with their ATM accounts at the bank? If they don't care about this actual machine that they own that they could have sold, well, what are they doing with their accounts? Think about that. Bad reputation, guys. So this is what you guys can do, okay? First of all, mindset. I was in the Marine Corps. They always, always say mindset, 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 okay? Remember, you need to prepare your mindset before you get your bank account. And wh what do I mean by that? Well, be prepared. You're going to have the door slammed to your face, right? Probably multiple times. Get ready to hear the word no. And don't worry, guys. It's nothing personal. At the end of the day, it's not you. It's because a few bad apples in the industry, they gave the entire industry a bad name right? Because think about it, money laundering, right? I recently had somebody call me asking about ATMs. Shady, Googled them, convicted of money laundering. Think about that. They're still out there. So the bad apples are giving us a bad name, okay? So these are the four things you need before you step foot inside of a bank, okay? Write this down, guys. Write this down. This isn't anywhere. This isn't anywhere. We're giving this to you, all right? Number one, your LLC, your actual documentation, okay? Number two, your EIN. What's the EIN? Employee identification number, free from the IRS. I just gave you a free gem. Some people are charging $150 to form your EIN. Get that online for free, all right? That's number two. Number three, you're gonna need your processing agreement, okay? What is that? Well, it's, it's just a document showing you're working with a processor, that you're legit, all right? Because they need to know you're legit. You can't just walk in there and say, uh, ATM, sure, and say, hey, I'm, I'm in the ATM business. And, you know, as they call it in uh, law enforcement, shift the eyes. You know, you start looking around. They're not going to open your account, okay? Number four, make sure you have proper identification, right? Government ID, typically. Government ID. Have all those four things. You're going to get your account opened up, okay? You have this. You get the green light from the bank. And it might be the fifth bank. It might be the sixth bank. Right. But once you get that green light, you're ready to roll. You're ready to get your ATM business started. OK, now. If you like that training. Right. And you're excited for our next piece, which is crypto and ATMs. I, I know you guys have been waiting. OK. Comment crypto below. Crypto. C R Y P T O. Help us out with our algorithms. Make sure as many people get to here as possible. All right. Lisa, I see you. Haters. Yep. <laughs> the banks are haters for sure. Sometimes they got, they got keeping you down. They're not letting you work. All right. I see some comments. Okay. Lisa, oh, bro, Mike, thank you. I see you. I see you. Crypto. Wallace. Nice. All right. So crypto and ATMs. Okay. How many of you have heard about Bitcoin? How many? Think about it. A lot of people, I mean, it's, it's the talk of the town, whether it's up or down. It's like, it's a better roller coaster than going to Disneyland. How many of you guys have been to Disneyland, right? They don't have the best, they don't have the best roller coasters right now, but crypto, oof, it's exciting, okay? So Bitcoin, it's a household name, all right? You can get into the weeds about this, right? Whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter. It's here to stay, right? I've been involved since 2016. Think about that. Years. It's what, 2022 already? Six years. More and more people are getting into crypto, all right? Think about your Thanksgiving dinner, right? And hopefully you had one. <laughs> Thanks. Think about that Thanksgiving dinner, even New Year's, right? What was everyone talking about? It was that probably some crypto, right? Heard of so-and-so. Maybe you heard that cousin that made $10 million. Maybe you had the nephew who was in the basement all the time. He's playing this, this metaverse thing and, and he just made $3 million. They're rich. It's a household name, okay? So... When it comes to crypto, you can take advantage of this with your ATMs, right? Well, what do I mean by this? Well, like I said, I've been involved for a little while. There's multiple ways to buy, but at the end of the day, there's these things called crypto ATMs, right? I'm sure you've seen them around once in a while. They, they were in the Bay Area. I think the first one 
was in California in like 2013 or something, right? Bitcoin was like a thousand dollars at the time. Imagine, imagine, right? So, and imagine, I mean, if you had gotten to the ATM industry back then, you'd have had a cash flowing business for what? Eight years, nine years, right? So with that being said, more people want to get into crypto. You see the ATMs popping up. You're asking, I mean, I get this a lot. I get hundreds of messages and questions of like, hey, what's this whole crypto ATM thing? Well, this is how you could take advantage of cash transactions and crypto. You're literally double dipping, right? The only thing better is when you get two flavors in one at an ice cream shop, right? Now, how do you do this? Get them. What, what are you talking about? Well, first you got to understand the basics, right? So crypto, it's, I'm thinking of mathematical formulas and software, okay? Just keep it really simple. This thing, I could literally go on for days about this, okay? Now, when it comes to ATM, you got to ask, how do they connect, right? Well, there's multiple different types of crypto ATMs, okay? Very common. It's, it's fully understand and not understand this, right? There's a few different brands. There's Genesis, uh, Gen Mega offers support, Hiusung also, some of the big names, right? Now, when you're thinking of crypto ATMs, you got to think of this, okay? There's unidirectional and bidirectional. And I get it, right? I, I, this is some big words, right? I like to keep things simple. I don't know about you guys. I, I like it to be you know, broken down for me, a little whiteboard. So think of this way, unidirectional, bidirectional. All that means is some ATMs you can buy from and some you can buy and sell, okay? So you got to ask, well, what's the difference? At the end of the day, you can buy only and you can buy and sell. So, well, most ATMs and actually the Gen Megas and Hyusungs buy only, right? There's a reason though, okay? A reason is, is you got to ask yourself, first of all, are you doing the transaction in the ATM or is it a third party? Meaning like, is it literally your crypto that you're selling to somebody or are you just the middleman where you're making the money off of somebody else in the transaction? So third party, okay? Those are the two things you got to think of along with, can you buy and sell, okay? Well, the big thing you got to determine is, well, when you buy and sell, you actually change classifications. And I don't know about you guys, but if you're at the ATM business for beginners group, you're ready to get started, right? So you want to get started fast. So I'm going to keep it real with you. If you're able to buy and sell crypto from your ATM, you change the classification of your ATM. That's a big thing, okay? That and price, right? For a typical ATM, you're looking at, what, $2,500 to $3,500. Crypto ATM specifically, you can get all the way up to sixteen to twenty thousand dollars, right? Think about the differences in pricing and what you're trying to invest in because you want to get started fast. And you know, when I started my business, my first business, I didn't have much capital. That's totally fine. So if you're paying sixteen thousand dollars for an ATM, I don't know. That's going to take a while to get that investment back. Okay, you might even buy a house or a car with that. So. Buying and selling ATMs, they're more expensive, right? The buy only ones, they're typically on the lower ends, okay? Also, when you buy and sell with the crypto ATM, it's gonna be extremely hard to find a bank. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, extremely hard, right? This is like finding an ATM bank is tough. Finding a crypto specific ATM friendly bank, I don't know, we're gonna have to go out of camera view, okay? <laughs> Because at the end of the day, think about all the regulations. It's a hot topic right now. We don't know what kind of laws are coming, things like that. You might end up buying a $16,000 paperweight, right? We don't know. You have to be honest. You don't know. What's the law going to say? So when you buy and sell an ATM, the reason why a lot of banks deny you is because you actually become a money service business. And then they, they have some conflict of interest with crypto, right? But you become a money service business. And you're asking, what is that? Well, it's a classification, okay? So a money service business is simply put somebody that converts cash, right? Which your ATM will have to something else, okay? Well, it's usually other currencies, usually checks, things like that. But crypto counts for that also, okay? So think about that. You're probably wondering like, what's the difference? What if I become a money service business? Well, the big thing, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like paperwork right? I'm literally, this is paperwork you're going to fill out if you become a money service business. Look at this. Look at all these pages of forms you got to fill out. Look at all these questions. This literally was from a bank. All these forms, it's about 19 pages of paperwork just to get the account. I don't like this. I'm not going to do it, right? The reason they do this though is because at the end of the day, when you're converting money to something else, they want to prevent financial crimes, okay? So I actually read the story 
I can't tell you where, but the feds braided, literally they, they took an ATM, snatched it out from the ground. They had tools, right? I mean, it's pretty heavy. They got to unscrew it and all that. No, they had tools. They snatched the ATM because it was money laundering. The people that owned it were money laundering. Okay. So when it comes to money service businesses, you, you wonder why, you know, banks don't want to approve you. I mean, it's the bad rep we're getting. There's still, this was recent too, right? I actually had a random guy message me on Facebook. Random. I had no idea who he was, not friends or anything, not a part of the group. And he said, hey, you know, I, I have a crypto specific ATM. I keep getting shut down. I literally cannot find a bank to work with me. And this was in California. California of all places. We got Silicon Valley. You know what Silicon Valley is? That's the start of the tech industry. And he could not find a bank. He's like, bank after bank after bank has shut me down, right? Cannot work with anybody. So what do you do? Okay. Well, what I say is you stick to buy only ATMs. Okay. And the reason this is, is because at the end of the day, software changes. Okay. So if you have an ATM that's traditional cash dispensing, which is what we offer, and you can purchase crypto on it, specifically Bitcoin, because at the end of the day, that's the household name. That's the one thing people for sure want to buy, right? There's all these other ones, but for sure Bitcoin, okay? Well, then you're within the law because you're going to have a third party do the transaction. So now you have this ATM, somebody goes to it as if they're withdrawing money. However, that gets transferred to something else. So your hands are clean. You're literally making money with your hands clean, okay? That person, hey, they're doing their thing. They're selling the crypto for you, right? There's companies out there and you take a piece of that. So now all of a sudden you're focusing on a cash only business or a cash driven location. So you're going to have high volume, right? You're going to be able to offer cash. So you're offering incentives to the business. And on top of that, now you can go in there and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to offer the capability for crypto. And you know what the added bonus is? Marketing. Once you start selling crypto on your ATM, you actually get free marketing. The third party provider is going to put you on a map. Just like, you know, when you rate food, same thing. You're going to be put on a map. So people that want to buy that crypto are going to look for your ATM. So you're getting free traffic to your location. That means more money to you. Okay. So stick to buy only ATMs, right? If you're just getting started, you want to start as fast as possible. The buy only ATMs are going to be cheaper. Okay. We'll keep it simple from the terminology, not unidirectional or bi-directional, right? Buy only ATMs. Now, if you guys were excited, because I see Paul is in here, he actually wants to say hi, all right? I see he's in here. If you guys were excited, say crypto below. Type crypto. We're going to be bringing more gems, all right? At the end of the day, we got way more content coming to you guys, but comment crypto below. We're going to bring way more content. Paul, are you there? Can you hear me? I'm here, Gedham. How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm glad you could have joined us a little no, early. That's a... No, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you covering for me, man. I just uh, I want to make sure that we do our due diligence and that we keep doing these lives every Tuesday for the people, you know, just like yeah. we said last year when we started this in January of 2021, uh, we said we're going to do free training. We're not going to sell no courses. And at the end of the day, we're just going to provide value to the community. Right. Mm -hmm. sure, and I got a sure. and I got a question for everybody that's watching this right now. If you currently work eight to 10 hours for someone else, let me ask you, are you able to work an additional two hours a day or even two hours a month for yourself? Comment yes, Y-E-S. Comment yes in the comments below, guys. If you currently work eight to 10 hours for someone else, can you currently work for yourself at least a minimum of two hours a month? For yourself, comment yes, Y E S. And the reason why I start off with this, guys, is because I'm going to get into a very special program that here at ATF Together we provide to the community. Okay. This is a program that we actually masterminded as a group of experts in the actual field of the ATF business. Okay. This is a program that no one else has out there currently right now. We are the only company that does this. Okay. Once again, if you guys try to go out there and find somebody that duplicates us or that's trying to copy us, I can guarantee you no one does it as good as we do. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do right now, all right, 
I'm not going to go live right now on my actual uh, screen, but I am going to do a share screen. I am going to go step by step and exactly show you exactly what we do for our current 800 clients nationwide, guys. All right. So if you guys are pumped right now, okay, and you guys want some free resources at the very end of this presentation, then go ahead and comment free. That's going to be F-R-E-E, -E, free. And I'm going to go ahead and get set up. And then just get them. Roll with us, man. Uh, you can chime in as I go, buddy. And then Excellent. at the very end, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll tell the people who are currently watching this how they could be a part of ATM together as well. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, get them. So just confirm for me that you guys can see my screen. I can see it, Paul. Can you double? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Phenomenal. All right. And let me go ahead and make sure that you guys can see this. All right, guys. So what this is, this is basically what I like to call our ATM automation program. What our ATM automation program, it's a completely done for you service. We're either doing the business with you or for you. This is for anyone who currently works a nine to five, hates going to work, wants to find an additional source of income. We are here to provide you this exact resource, okay? Because I get it. Trust me, I used to work 60 to 100 hours a week at my nine to five. I used to get yelled at by somebody that wasn't as qualified as I was. And I knew that. It ate me alive every single day. I hated going to work. Hated going to sitting in traffic. Hated not being able to see my family at night, guys. Okay? If you guys got kids... How many of you guys are missing sports events? How many of you guys are missing uh, special presentations that your kids are currently doing? Trust me, I know how it is. I, I felt it when I was a kid. My dad wasn't there. My dad was an entrepreneur. He had to work 18 to 20 hours a day to put food on the table. I understand the grind. I guess that's why I'm a worker. I get it from my pops. But at the end of the day, what is life really about, guys? Life is about family. It's about you. We're only here for a short time, not a long time. Do you agree, Getem? I agree, for sure. Life's short. Ab absolutely. And that's why over 800 of our clients has agreed with us since January of 2021, guys. 800 clients have agreed with us. And this is why they've taken the opportunity to join ATM together as well. So this is what I have for you folks, okay? If you're rolling with us for the very first time, this is what we offer for you. We offer you a brand new ATM. You get two choices, either the Hyo Sun Hilo 2 or the Gen Mega G2500, both phenomenal ATMs. These ATMs are the staple of the ATM industry, okay? They hold up to $20,000 inside of their uh, actual vault and they're brand new from the manufacturer, meaning that they come with two-year warranties, guys. If anything was to go wrong with these ATMs, guess what? It gets replaced. Now, included with that, we're going to show you how to do absolutely everything. We're talking about programming, technical support. We're even going to show you how to load the receipt paper, guys. It's a no-brainer when it comes to this. You don't have to worry about anything with technical support because I'm not the most tech-savvy person. At the end of the day, trust me, I was able to learn this. I believe that anyone can learn this business. This is why I love the ATM business because it gives people who have never started a business before, the opportunity to get a secondary source of income, guys. This is why I love this business. This is why I promote it. This is what it fulfills me. And this is why I have leaders on my team. You talk to anyone, you talk to Getem, you talk to Hugh, you talk to Juan Carlos, you talk to Andrea, who is our newest ATM Together team member. You talk to Mike Baytula, all leaders, all leaders. We're talking about they are the most extroverted people in the room, okay? So at the end of the day, you have to be a leader when you're a business owner. And that's what we do. We create leaders. Not only are you getting a program from us that we're helping you build a business, but we're going to make you more confident. You're going to go through that door as an expert, and you're going to know exactly how to dominate your area wherever you live in, in the United States, okay? Now, we also include the internet modem inside of your first intro package. The internet modem, you usually pay for this with any other company, but we're gonna include it for free in your intro package. 
The only recurring charge that we're going to charge you guys is $5.99. With that being said, okay, you can choose between Verizon or AT&T depending on your location, okay? And uh, with that, that is the internet modem. Processing. I think processing, like Getum touched on earlier today, is very important. Now, Getum went into my backstory about how I got duped into paying a huge percentage of my recurring surcharge profits per month. I don't want this to happen to any one of you guys. So we provide this service absolutely for free. You're probably thinking, well, guys, how are you guys making money? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how we're making money, guys. The bank pays us a special fee per transaction for facilitating the actual network for you, meaning that your client pays you. You keep 100% of the profits, okay? That is yours. We are not greedy. The bank is going to pay us for basically facilitating the traffic for you, for providing the service. So we get a couple of, a couple cents, a couple of pennies per transaction, but obviously it adds up, guys. We are here for the long term, meaning that we see the vision. We see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is why we're not afraid to build for the uh, upcoming years, okay? So we'll delay our gratification of getting paid by getting paid a few pennies a transaction, okay? This is how we're able to provide you the processing service for free, guys, okay? Now, also, no contract, meaning that if you wanna go for any reason, you need to sell your ATM business. We're not gonna tie you down. We're not gonna tie you down. We're actually gonna help you try to sell it to someone else. That's what we do. You are, provi you are provided with that um, phenomenal customer service, guys, okay? Now, with that being said, we also provide you with a mobile friendly application. The network is called Switch Commerce, all right? Now, the application is very cool. It's 2022, guys. You need to run your business from your phone. If you're not running it from your phone, then you are doing it the old school way. There are millions of people making money from literally their bed. From the time they wake up, they are making money. You need to reach over to your phone, look at the application and see how much money you made from your ATMs. You need to figure out a way how to make money while you're sleeping. And if you're not, you're doing it wrong, guys. You're doing it wrong. Okay. So the fourth most important part of this program, the location, guys, I'm going to go Paul, into Paul, a little Paul, bit. I, I got to stop you there. I got to stop you there. So are you saying that we're incentivized to find them a good location? Yes. For the long term. Yes. We're in it for the long term too. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's a team, right? At the end of the day with us, we're in it with you. We want to get you the best location. We want you to get the best business out there. All right. We want you to succeed at the end of the day. You know, you're, your parents always say they want you to do better than them. I want you to do better than me. Back to you, absolutely. Paul. I, I, can't, I, I can't keep you on. <laughs> no, ab absolutely, man. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, this is what I tell everybody. I tell everybody, look, we are tied in. We are in a partnership with you, okay? So with that, we have to make sure that you guys succeed. And the, and the old reason why we want you guys to succeed is because, check this out. You know why we've grown to 800 clients within one year? Why we've grown ETM together to a multi-million dollar business? It's simple. It's very simple, guys. And whoever's watching this right now and wants to build a business, I'm going to give you an actual millionaire's opinion on how to build a business. Very simple. One-liner. 